The National Orchestra for All met for the first time in the summer of 2011. The idea behind the orchestra was simple. To offer young people who wouldn't normally have the opportunity the chance to join an orchestra. The orchestra focused on commitment and enthusiasm and not just on technical ability. It also targeted parts of the country where social and economic factors may have prevented some young people from joining an orchestra. Founder and musical director Mariana Hay tells us why she started the orchestra and how she took inspiration from the Venezuelan project El Sistema. There are loads of youth orchestras out there in the UK today, but they tend to be for the musical elite. And what the National Orchestra for All does is it opens up our doors to children of all standards and stages. I want to instill some of the excitement and the enthusiasm that the Venezuelan young people feel about classical music with the National Orchestra for All. And we've been working hard on how do you perform something in an exciting way. It's not just about playing the notes correctly, it's also about putting your heart and soul into what you're doing and that's what we're trying to achieve here. This residential course was held at Warwick University. Led by some of the finest instrumental tutors in the country, the students had the chance to study in small groups, often looking at chamber music, with their fellow musicians in sectional rehearsals, and to enjoy the sound of the full orchestra. In order to offer this experience free of charge, the National Orchestra for All had to find some key partners. Three such partners stepped forward. The charity Music First, Achievement for All and Teach First. The first organisation to come on board with NOFA when we first started it was Music First. Music First is a London-based music education charity that operates out of Islington and it seeks to build and transform young people's lives and communities through intensive engagement with classical music. Music First gave us the key financial support we needed to get going and also provided us with multiple other opportunities uh, for the National Orchestra for All players throughout our, our time together as an orchestra. For example, later on in the year after the course itself finished, Music First invited us to be part of a performance at the Royal Art Hall along with a thousand other Music First children uh, as part of the school's performance in November. So they've been a really key supporter for us. NOFA's second partner was the national education charity Achievement for All. Achievement for All works in hundreds of schools across the country to improve the access, aspiration and achievement of the young learners. They are great because what they were able to do was provide us with some key financial support and also help us get into schools and find children for NOFA in places across the country where otherwise we couldn't have got to ourselves. And NOFA's third partner was Teach First. Teach First, again, is a national education charity that seeks to address educational disadvantage by placing exceptional graduates from the top universities across the country into the most challenging schools to be teachers for two years. It was fantastic to work with Teach First. Not only did they provide us with multiple support in kind, they also provided National Orchestra for All with a home for our week at Warwick University. In addition, we also got to work with the new trainee teachers on the Teach First programme who were going to go into their schools in September to teach music. And that was a great opportunity not only for the National Orchestra for All children, but also for the Teach First teachers who got to work with them. Hello, I'm Robbie, and I'm going to be teaching in Debden Park High in Essex. I've been doing the brass the brass ensemble today. We were rehearsing Dance Macabre by Sanson, which is a great work, masterwork of the musical canon. And uh, yeah, we got in there and it was, it was great fun. They're sounding fantastic. My name's Lottie Cashin and I'm going to be teaching music in the West Midlands. Today I've been helping in the upper string sectionals, um, just going through Dance Macabre with the group of violin. I'm a clarinetist and haven't really had anything to do with strings before. Um, so it was a really good opportunity to go in and see how young string players work and pick up some tips. I've got a runner string group in my school, so it's a really good experience for that. Another key partner is the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment. Players from the orchestra joined the young musicians on the final day of the course. They led workshops that covered skills such as conducting, how to develop better ensemble playing skills, as well as demonstrating the difference between period instruments 
and the more modern instruments that the young musicians were used to playing on. During the final rehearsal, members of the orchestra gave us their thoughts on the experience. The people I've met, the opportunities I've had, it's all together one word to describe it, amazing, honestly. I've been talking to people and they've come out of their shell like being here. It's just such a good, great opportunity and it's really improved my confidence as well. It's got me to make friends a little easier because I've, I've never really, not very good at it, but I've talked to lots more people than I normally would. It helps you to understand other people because like they've got different accents, so it's because it's new to us, like it helps you with that as well. There were so many highlights from the first new for course. Three, however, will stay with me the most. The first was the way in which French had blossomed throughout the course. The second was the way in which confidence from young people seemed to grow day by day, minute by minute. And third, it was the expression and the smiles on the faces of the young people when they stood up at the end of the concert in front of a standing ovation. It's those memories that will stay with me for a very long time.